Recently, there's been quite a lot of articles, videos, posts talking about the death of Angel. This seems to happen every few months. <laughs> and strangely enough, with nearly 300 videos on this YouTube channel, I've never talked about this topic. Let's change that today. Is Angel dead? Or not, let's be honest, if you live in the US, it's been a rough start of the year with all these layoffs and many companies, the first people they talk get are the roles that are frequently questioned. Coaches, agile coaches, team coaches, scrum masters. Sadly enough, many organizations are questioning the value of agile coaches and similar roles while at the same time, the need for agile in organizations is more important than ever. Why? is that? Well, let's try to figure out what people mean when they say Agile is dead. Most people writing these articles, posting these videos, when they say Agile is dead, they're talking about frameworks, Scrum, Safe, and other Agile frameworks. We have come to a point with Agile and other frameworks where many companies, many big companies have already implemented or are currently implementing an Agile transformation, and most of them have failed. Most of them were sold the idea that Agile, Scrum, Safe would solve all the problems. The one magic bullet that would solve all the problems. And they are quite surprised <laughs> when this didn't happen. Scrum, Safe can't fix a broken culture. But when we implement Scrum, we implement Safe. We never talk about the culture. It's always Scrum's fault, Agile's fault. It's never the culture. Don't get me wrong. I feel that implementing Scrum, that's the first step. You learn a lot of practices, agile practices when implementing Scrum. It's like cooking. Everyone should learn the basics of cooking prior to opening a restaurant. But years down the line, if you're still boiling vegetables and grilling meat, there's a problem. I'm not saying that you can't sell these things. I'm just saying that the same strategy might not apply to all the restaurants in the world. So why do you think that Scrum is applicable? to all teams, all companies. No, it depends on the context. But most companies don't care about the context. Scrum is the magic bullet. Save the magic bullet that will solve all my problems. For me, Agile can be reduced to three simple steps. First, find out where you are. The analysis phase. Second, take a step forward towards your goal. Plan and deliver. And the first step, the learning phase. Adjust your understanding based on what you learn. These three steps are crucial when working in a complex and uncertain environment. I really like Scrum Alliance definition of agility. Agile is the ability to create and respond to change. It is a way of dealing with and ultimately succeeding in an uncertain and turbulent environment. Tell me one thing, how can the idea of dealing with complex, uncertain, turbulent environments possibly die? And what would even replace it? If you look at it from a practical point of view, Agile can't die. It can't die because it's just common sense, knowing where you are, taking steps forward, delivering something and learning from what you delivered to readjust and improve. Just common sense. Most people don't do it because common sense is no longer common, but it's just common sense and it can't die. What can die though is the frameworks, the implementation of Scrum, Safe or other frameworks that make Agile rigid, the one size fits all. Believing that Scrum can work in any teams, in any organizations, this will die and this needs to change. Honestly, I've never seen a team being able to implement safe as per the book. It doesn't happen. There's always some variables that prevent us from implementing safe as per the book. And I've never seen also a successful agile transformation. Never seen it. But what about safe? In my experience, safe, the scaled agile framework, has nothing to do with agility. <laughs> it's not agile at all. Let's take a simple example. Let's say you're running two weeks sprints in the PI planning when using SAFE. You'll typically do five sets of these two weeks sprints. Plan ahead management is expecting three months or more of planned work, clear deadlines, clear deliveries and dates. And this data will be communicated to leadership, to management, to the directors of the organization. And you need to stick with the data. Do you really believe that a team can plan in a complex, turbulent environment, can plan three months ahead? A software development team working in a complex, 
uncertain environment can plan three months ahead and are forced to not change this plan. <laughs> if this happens, you're not doing agile. You're doing waterfall. Safe is closer to waterfall than agile to me. For me, agile isn't dead, but it was never truly alive in the first place. I've never seen an organization implement agile correctly. <laughs> A successful agile implementation simply because implementing agile is not just hiring agile coaches scrum masters team coaches no it's a profound change in the organization at all levels the culture the hierarchies the ways of working no one wants to do that especially the leaders <laughs> especially the managers that's why we often hear agile for the teams optimize the teams now as managers leaders we don't care about agility that's for the teams. If you hear that during an agile implementation, you already failed from the start. This is what caused the death of agility. Too many people trying to make money selling agility, selling Scrum as the magic bullet that will solve all problems. Just look at the title of this book, very popular Scrum book that you're seeing on the screen. Scrum, the art of doing twice the work in half the time. That's exactly how agility an agile transformation is sold. We'll go faster, deliver more, and cut costs. That's not the goal of agile. <laughs> the highest priority. Principle number one, focusing on the customer. And often when you focus on the customer, you go slower and costs may increase. We have a problem here. So what can we do to improve? I would say go back to the basics. The three steps we talked about earlier. Know where you are. Take a few steps forward towards your goal. Deliver something and then learn from what you delivered from your customers. Improve. That's agility. And this can be applicable in any kind of environment. Stop selling Scrum. Stop selling Kanban. Safe. Go back to the basics. You don't even talk about agility. You're here as an agile coach, a team coach, a scrum master to help the team, help the organization improve, find out what's not working and help them facilitate the discussions we're brainstorming so that they, the team, the organization can find their solutions that work for them. Stop implementing agile as per the book. It doesn't work. Your focus should be improving, helping people fix their problems and go back to these three simple steps. If you want more tips, insights on Agile Scrum personal growth, click on the video that stands out the most on the screen right now. And I'll see you in a few seconds.